an industry filled with glitz and glamour, the actress has made a name for herself as a reliable and talented performer. She was born on January 17, 1922, in Oak Park, Illinois, and began her career in the early 1940s in radio, eventually transitioning to television in the 1950s. Throughout her career, the actress has been a trailblazer for women in the industry. She was one of the first women to produce and star in her own television show, Life with Elizabeth, which aired from 1953 to 1955. She also co-founded a female-led production company, Bandy Productions, in the 1970s. The actress has had many memorable roles throughout her career, including the sweet and sassy Sue Ann Nivens on The Mary Tyler Moore Show and the lovable Rose Nyland on The Golden Girls. She has won numerous awards for her work, including five Primetime Emmy Awards and a Grammy Award. Despite her many accolades, the actress remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She has said, I just love what I do. I'm very fortunate that I've been in this business this long and I'm still working. In addition to her work in television, the actress has also appeared in numerous films and has lent her voice to various animated projects. She has been a strong advocate for animal rights and has worked with numerous organizations to promote animal welfare. As she approaches her 100th birthday, the actress continues to inspire and entertain audiences with her wit, charm, and talent. She is a true icon in the entertainment industry and a testament to the power of hard work and dedication. Betty White is a legendary actress known for her work in television and film. She has been active in the industry for over eight decades, leaving behind a vast body of work. With so many memorable performances, it can be hard to choose just one that defines her career. Do you have a favorite? Perhaps it's her role as Sue Ann Nivens on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, or her iconic portrayal of Rose Nyland on The Golden Girls. No matter which performance you hold closest to your heart, there's no denying that actress Betty White has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. We would love to hear about your favorite memories or personal experiences related to this classic star. Share them with us in the comments below. As we delve deeper into the life and career of this beloved actress, we'll uncover some surprising and emotional moments. From her early days in radio to her late career resurgence, there's so much to explore. So keep watching to learn more about the many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Betty White's life and career. Betty White, born in 1922 in Oak Park, Illinois, was the only child of Christine Tess and Horace White. Her father's job as a lighting company executive led to the family moving to Los Angeles when she was just a toddler. Growing up in the spotlight of Hollywood, the actress developed an early interest in performing. As a child, White would often put on shows for her family and neighbors. Her mother, a homemaker with a love for the theater, encouraged her daughter's passion for the arts. White's father, too, played a significant role in her upbringing, teaching her the importance of hard work and dedication. White's first exposure to the world of entertainment came at the age of eight when she attended a Hollywood Boulevard vaudeville show. The experience left a lasting impression on the young girl and solidified her dreams of becoming an actress. Throughout her teenage years, White pursued her passion for performing, taking drama and radio classes at Beverly Hills High School. After graduating, she landed her first professional acting gig as a guest star on the radio drama Blondie. In the early years of her career, White found inspiration in the work of actress Jean Harlow. She admired Harlow's confidence and poise and sought to emulate her on-screen presence. White also looked up to actress and comedian Lucille Ball, who became a close friend and mentor later in her career. Ball encouraged White to take risks and push boundaries in her work, inspiring her to become a trailblazer for women in the entertainment industry. White's groundbreaking roles on shows like The Mary Tyler Moore Show and the Golden Girls solidified her status as a feminist icon and paved the way for future generations of women in Hollywood. In addition to her famous friends and mentors, White's unwavering dedication to her craft and her positive attitude have also played significant roles in her success. With a career spanning over eight decades, the actress has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and continues to inspire and delight audiences around the world. Betty White, a trailblazing actress, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her career spanned over eight decades, and she became a beloved figure in Hollywood. White's influence extended beyond her era, inspiring generations of actors and actresses. In the early years of her career, White faced gender discrimination in the industry. However, she persevered and became one of the first women to gain control over her career. She produced and starred in her own television shows, such as Life with Elizabeth, 
and The Betty White Show. These shows paved the way for future generations of women in the industry. White's contributions to Hollywood went beyond her work in front of the camera. She was a passionate advocate for animal rights and used her platform to raise awareness for various animal welfare organizations. White also served as a president of the Screen Actors Guild, where she fought for actors' rights and fair compensation. White's impact on the film industry was significant. She broke barriers for women in the industry and used her platform to advocate for important causes. Her contributions to Hollywood will be remembered for generations to come. White's influence on popular culture is also noteworthy. She starred in some of the most popular television shows of all time, including The Mary Tyler Moore Show and The Golden Girls. Her portrayal of Rose Nyland in The Golden Girls endeared her to millions of fans and solidified her status as a cultural icon. White's work in film was also notable. She appeared in over 100 films throughout her career, including The Lion King, Bringing Down the House, and Hard Rain. Her ability to transition seamlessly between comedy and drama showcased her versatility as an actress. In conclusion, Betty White's influence on the film industry was significant and far-reaching. Her contributions to Hollywood went beyond her work in front of the camera, and she used her platform to advocate for important causes. White's impact on popular culture is still felt today, and her legacy will continue to inspire future generations of actors and actresses. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she was drawn to the world of entertainment. She would spend hours watching classic movies and imitating the actors on screen. Her passion for acting was ignited when she was just eight years old, after seeing a local production of a play. From that moment on, she knew she wanted to be an actress. During her high school years, she participated in every school play and honed her craft. After graduation, she pursued her dream by moving to Los Angeles and taking acting classes. She faced many rejections and setbacks, but her determination never wavered. One pivotal experience that fueled her desire to pursue acting was her first role in a professional production. She was cast as a flower girl in a play, and the thrill of performing on stage in front of a live audience was intoxicating. She knew then that she had found her calling. Throughout her long and successful career, the actress has remained passionate about her craft. She continues to take on new roles and challenges, always striving to improve her skills and deliver her best performance. Her love for acting has never faded, and she continues to inspire and entertain audiences with her talent and dedication. After successfully landing the leads in her first two auditions for the play's Spring Dance and Dear Ruth, the actress's career in television soon followed. She starred as the sweet and naive Rose Nyland in the hit show The Golden Girls, where she acted alongside Rue McClanahan. Both actresses had previously appeared together in Mama's Family. In The Golden Girls, the actress and Estelle Getty received seven Emmy nominations each, while B. Arthur and Rue McClanahan received four. All four actresses won Emmys for their performances. The show remains a classic in television history, showcasing the actress's comedic talent and versatility. Despite facing numerous obstacles early in her career, the actress persisted, demonstrating an incredible resilience that would later become a hallmark of her success. Born in 1922, the actress faced financial struggles during the Great Depression, which made it difficult for her to pursue her dreams. However, she remained determined and began her career in radio, working her way up through various roles until she finally landed her first television gig. Despite her talent and hard work, the actress faced skepticism from industry executives who doubted her ability to succeed in a male-dominated field. Undeterred, she continued to hone her craft and eventually proved her doubters wrong, becoming one of the most beloved and respected actresses of her time. Throughout her career, the actress faced numerous challenges, from ageism to sexism, but she never let these obstacles stand in her way. Instead, she used her creativity and determination to find new opportunities and pave the way for future generations of actresses. One notable example of her resilience came in the 1970s when the actress was offered a role in a new television show. However, the network executives were hesitant to cast her, fearing that she was too old for the part. Undaunted, the actress proposed the solution she would take a pay cut in exchange for a larger role in the show's production. The network agreed, and the actress went on to become a producer and a star of the show, which became a massive hit. Throughout her career, the actress has faced numerous obstacles, but she has always found a way to overcome them. Her resilience and determination have inspired countless others, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences around the world.
When it comes to special songs for couples, the actress and her partner Lane Allen had a clear favorite Carl Ravazza's I Love You for sentimental reasons. In the world of television, the actress was known for her ability to take on a variety of roles, including playing the cunning Ellen Harper on Mama's Family, while simultaneously portraying the sweet and naive Rose Nyland on The Golden Girls. Sadly, the three other actresses who made up the main cast of The Golden Girls all passed away in consecutive calendar years. Estelle Getty died in 2008 at the age of 84, B. Arthur died in 2009 at the age of 86, and Rue McClanahan, the youngest of the four, died in 2010 at the age of 76. Despite being the oldest of the group, the actress lived on, celebrating her 99th birthday in January 2021. She was only four months older than B. Arthur. However, just 17 days before her 100th birthday, the actress passed away on December 31st, 21. Despite the challenges she faced in her long career, the actress remained a beloved figure in the world of television. Her co-stars and fans alike will always remember her for her talent and her kindness. In 1973, the actress took on a role that would become a turning point in her career, joining the cast of The Mary Tyler Moore Show as Sue Ann Nivens. Her portrayal of the seemingly sweet but secretly manipulative and promiscuous character earned her two Emmy Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Moore herself praised the actress, stating, she brought a combination of warmth, humanity, and humor to her role that was simply delightful. In 1985, the actress starred in The Golden Girls, which became a cultural phenomenon and cemented her status as a comedy legend. The show, which followed the lives of four older women living together in Miami, resonated with audiences and critics alike. One of the show's writers, Mark Cherry, noted, she had this incredible ability to find the humor in any situation, even the most serious or emotional ones. It was truly remarkable. In 2010, at the age of 88, the actress experienced a career resurgence with a guest starring role on the sitcom Hot in Cleveland. Her appearance on the show led to a regular role and a new generation of fans. Her co-star, Valerie Bertinelli, described working with her as a masterclass in comedy. Throughout her career, the actress has broken barriers and challenged stereotypes about aging and women in Hollywood. Her impact on the industry is undeniable, and her legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. As her Hot in Cleveland co-star, Wendy Malick, put it, she's a trailblazer, a legend, and a true national treasure. In The Golden Girls, the actress played the character of Rose Nyland, a role that brought her significant fame. During the show's taping on Fridays, Estelle Getty, her co-star, often grappled with intense stage fright. Getty, the least experienced actress of the four, found herself intimidated by the talent surrounding her, including that of the actress and B. Arthur. In a 1988 interview, Getty admitted that working with such accomplished actors every week left her feeling scared and worried that the fans would discover she wasn't as skilled as her co-stars. In Lake Placid, the actress took on the role of Mistress Dolores Bickerman. Interestingly, Betty White, Bill Pullman, and Oliver Platt have all worked with Sandra Bullock in different films. Betty White starred alongside Bullock in The Proposal, while Pullman acted with her in While You Were Sleeping, and Platt in A Time to Kill and Gun Shy. This common thread between the actors adds an intriguing layer to the connections in Hollywood. Despite Getty's stage fright, the actress managed to deliver a memorable performance in The Golden Girls. Her ability to work alongside less experienced actors, like Getty, and bring out the best in them is a testament to her skills as an actress. The Friday tapings, with Getty's stage fright, must have been challenging, but the actress handled the situation with grace and professionalism. The actress, known for her comedic timing and warmth, has a unique approach to her work. She once mentioned that she always looks for the humor in a situation, finding the lightness even in serious scenes. This ability to infuse humor into her performances gives her work a distinctive style. Her personal experiences and worldview often find their way into her roles. Having been in the industry for over eight decades, the actress has drawn from her own life to create authentic and relatable characters. She has often spoken about the importance of empathy and kindness, values that are reflected in her characters' interactions. In her work, the actress often portrays strong, independent women who are not afraid to speak their minds. This reflects her own beliefs and experiences as she has been a trailblazer for women in the entertainment industry. Her characters are also known for their resilience, a trait that the actress herself has demonstrated throughout her long and successful career. The actress's creative process involves a deep immersion into her character. 
She spends a lot of time understanding her character's motivations, background, and personality. This meticulous preparation allows her to bring depth and authenticity to her performances. In addition to her acting, the actress is also known for her work behind the scenes. She has produced and directed several projects, demonstrating her versatility and commitment to the entertainment industry. Her unique approach to her work, combined with her personal experiences and values, have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire aspiring actors today. The actress, known for her role as Rose Nyland in The Golden Girls, has an interesting ancestry. Her grandfather on her father's side, Christopher Hans Christian White, was Danish, while her maternal grandfather, Nicholas Kachiki, was Greek. On her mother's side, her grandmothers, Etta K. Lundy and Margaret Hobbs, were both Canadian-born with English and Welsh ancestry. Interestingly, the actress, who played the naive and sweet Rose Nyland, was actually a natural brunette and dyed her hair blonde for the role. This fact is often joked about in the series by the other characters. In an unexpected turn of events, the producers had originally wanted Rue McClanahan to play a version of Vivian Cavender from Maud, and the actress to play a version of Sue Ann Nivens from The Mary Tyler Moore Show. However, they switched roles to avoid being typecast. This switch also played a part in persuading B. Arthur to join the cast. It's fascinating to think about how different the show would have been with the original casting choices. Betty White's impact and influence on the entertainment industry are significant. With a career spanning over eight decades, the actress has left an indelible mark on television and film. She began her career in the early 1950s and quickly became a household name with her role in the sitcom Life with Elizabeth, for which she won her first Emmy Award in 1952. White's contributions to the industry extend beyond her on-screen performances. She was a trailblazer for women in television, producing, and starring in her own shows. Her work paved the way for future generations of female entertainers. The actress is also known for her ability to adapt to changing trends and techniques in the industry. She embraced new technologies and media platforms, appearing in numerous television shows, films, and even video games. White's willingness to evolve and grow as an artist has allowed her to remain relevant and influential throughout her career. Moreover, the actress has been a champion for animal rights and has used her platform to raise awareness and funds for various animal welfare organizations. Her advocacy has inspired many of her fans to take action and make a difference in their communities. Industry experts and those inspired by the actress have praised her contributions to the entertainment industry. According to TV Guide, White is one of the most beloved and respected actresses in Hollywood. Her co-stars and colleagues have also spoken highly of her, with Ryan Reynolds calling her a national treasure and Valerie Bertinelli describing her as a force of nature. In conclusion, Betty White's impact and influence on the entertainment industry are undeniable. Her contributions as an actress, producer, and advocate have left a lasting impact on the industry and inspired countless others to pursue their passions. In 1949, the actress started her career in show business with a role on Clack's Grab Your Phone, where she was one of four phone girls, earning 20 per week. Over seven decades later, she would become known for her sharp wit and memorable roles. One such role was offered to her in the film As Good As It Gets in 1997. However, she turned it down due to her objection to the treatment of a dog in the movie. This decision showcased her compassion and love for animals, which was a significant part of her life. In The Golden Girls, which aired from 1985 to 1992, the actress was the oldest of the four principal actresses. Despite her age, she held her own against her co-stars and delivered a memorable performance. Interestingly, she was also the last of the four to pass away, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire. It's worth noting that the actress was born on January 17, 1922, making her 100 years old at the time of her passing. Her co-star's birth years were May 13, 1922, for B. Arthur, July 25, 1923, for Estelle Getty, and February 21, 1934, for Rue McClanahan. This information highlights the actress's longevity in the industry and her ability to stay relevant and beloved by audiences throughout the years. Actress Betty White has always been passionate about animal welfare. Growing up, she had a variety of pets, including cats, dogs, and even a snake. This early love for animals stayed with her throughout her life, and she has been an active supporter and advocate for various animal charities. In fact, she served as a trustee for the Morris Animal Foundation for over 40 years, helping to fund research for the health and well-being of animals. 
White's love for animals has also made its way into her work. She has appeared in numerous TV shows and movies that feature animals such as The Pet Set, a talk show she hosted in the 1970s that focused on animals and their celebrity owners. In addition, she has been a longtime supporter of the Los Angeles Zoo and has even lent her voice to several animal-themed animated shows. Aside from her passion for animals, White is also known for her sense of humor and positive attitude. She has often spoken about the importance of staying active and engaged in life, no matter what age. In a 2018 interview with Parade Magazine, she shared her secret to a long and happy life just keep busy and have a lot of friends. White has also been an advocate for women's rights and has spoken out about the importance of gender equality in the entertainment industry. In a 2012 interview with Katie Couric, she shared her thoughts on the progress that has been made and the work that still needs to be done. I think we're getting there, but we still have a ways to go. Overall, Betty White's personal values and interests, including her love for animals, her positive attitude, and her advocacy for women's rights, have informed her work and made her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In the mid-80s, the actress made several appearances on Santa Barbara. She was part of a contest, which brought her to the show. Her presence was a delight to fans and cast members alike. Later, in The Golden Girls, the actress brought to life the character of Rose Nyland. In the final scene, when Dorothy says her goodbyes, Estelle Getty, Rue McClanahan, and the actress were told B. Arthur would run back in for a second goodbye. The surprise reactions from the actress and her co-stars were genuine, adding to the emotional impact of the scene. After Dorothy leaves for the final time, the actresses thought B. would come for a third goodbye, resulting in their genuine confusion and anticipation. Before the Golden Girls, the actress played Sue Ann Nivens in The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Producers wanted someone like the actress for the role, and eventually, someone asked, why not cast Betty White? This decision proved to be an excellent one, as the actress brought humor and charm to the character, making her a fan favorite. From Santa Barbara to the Golden Girls and The Mary Tyler Moore Show, the actress left an indelible mark in the world of television. Her talent and dedication to her craft have made her a beloved figure in the industry, and fans continue to cherish her contributions to the landscape of television. Thespians like her are rare, and her impact will undoubtedly resonate for generations to come. The actress, Betty White, has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With a career spanning over eight decades, she has become a beloved figure and a source of inspiration for many. Her work in shows like The Golden Girls and the Mary Tyler Moore Show has brought laughter and joy to countless viewers. Betty White's legacy is one of professionalism, dedication, and a true love for the craft of acting. She has shown that it is possible to have a long and successful career in the entertainment industry, even in the face of adversity and changing times. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, the actress has some valuable advice. She has often spoken about the importance of hard work, persistence, and a positive attitude. She has said, you can accomplish anything in life, provided that you do not mind who gets the credit. The actress has also emphasized the importance of staying true to oneself and one's values. She has said, I have to stay true to my character. I can't be someone I'm not. In terms of future contributions, the actress has always been open to new opportunities and challenges. She has never been afraid to take risks and try new things and has continued to work well into her golden years. In conclusion, Betty White's legacy is a testament to the power of hard work, dedication, and a positive attitude. Her advice to aspiring professionals is to stay true to oneself, work hard, and never give up. With these qualities, anyone can achieve success and make a meaningful contribution to the world of entertainment. In the early days of her career, the actress known as Betty White decided to forego college in favor of classical vocal training under opera singer Felix Hughes, who happened to be the uncle of Howard Hughes. This decision set her on a path to stardom that would see her become a beloved figure in the world of television. On The Mary Tyler Moore Show, the actress played the role of Sue Ann Nivens, a character who often provided comedic relief. Sadly, within a four-year span between 2017 and 2021, all of the main cast members passed away, with the exception of Ted Knight. This included the actress, who died in 2021, along with her co-stars Ed Asner, Gavin McLeod, and Cloris Leachman. The Golden Girls, another popular show featuring the actress, explored the lives of senior women who had been widowed or divorced after long marriages. In real life, Betty White was a widow, and her co-star B. Arthur had divorced Jean Sachs after 28 years of marriage. 
The show provided a nuanced and humorous look at the experiences of older women, and it remains a beloved classic to this day. Throughout her long and storied career, the actress left an indelible mark on the world of television, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Her talent, dedication, and unforgettable performances have made her a true icon of the small screen. Through a career spanning over eight decades, the actress has consistently demonstrated her passion and innovation in the entertainment industry. At the tender age of 17, she secured her first professional role in radio, marking the beginning of a remarkable journey. Her foray into television began in the 1940s, where she co-hosted and produced her own daily live television show, a testament to her entrepreneurial spirit. The actress continued to break barriers as she became the first female to produce a sitcom, Life with Elizabeth, which she also starred in. Throughout her career, the actress has showcased her versatility, seamlessly transitioning between film, television, and theater. She has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry with her memorable roles in iconic shows such as The Golden Girls and Hot in Cleveland. The actress's impact on the industry extends beyond her on-screen presence. She has been a trailblazer for women in entertainment, advocating for equal pay and opportunities for women in the industry. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, the actress's perseverance and creativity have shown through, inspiring generations of performers. Her enduring legacy serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and the importance of pursuing one's passion. In the words of the actress herself, you just keep plugging away, you don't give up. Her remarkable journey is a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring impact of creativity. In the beloved series The Golden Girls, the actress who played Rose Nyland Betty White admitted to not getting along with her co-star B. Arthur. After a long and successful career, the actress passed away on December 31, 2021, just 17 days shy of her 100th birthday. Her final word was Alan, the name of her late husband, Alan Ledden. Upon her death, her ashes were given to her longtime press agent, Jeff Witches. The actress also had a memorable role in Mary Tyler Moore, where she reunited with many of her former cast members in The Love Boat. Betty White, Ted Knight, Valerie Harper, Cloris Leachman, and Georgia Angel all made appearances on the show. Additionally, Fred Grandy, Bernie Coppell, Nancy Walker, Harold Gould, and John Amos, who all played recurring characters on Mary Tyler Moore, also appeared on The Love Boat. David Ogden Stiers and Henry Winkler, who both appeared on Mary Tyler Moore, also made appearances on The Love Boat. In The Love Boat, the actress's character, yet again, had a colleague and nemesis, just as she did in Mary Tyler Moore. Ted Knight, who played Gavin McLeod's colleague and nemesis on Mary Tyler Moore, also played his colleague and nemesis on The Love Boat as Gunnar Norquist. The actress's co-stars from Mary Tyler Moore and The Golden Girls were not the only familiar faces on The Love Boat, as many other actors from her past appearances also made guest appearances on the show. In 1954, the actress faced criticism for featuring a black tap dancer, Arthur Duncan, on her show The Betty White Show. Despite producers' wishes to remove Duncan, she stood her ground, stating, he stays, live with it, and even gave him more airtime. The show was soon canceled, but this incident showcased her commitment to inclusivity. During the same period, the actress was also appearing in Mama's Family, playing Ellen Harper Jackson. Interestingly, she and Rue McClanahan were already starring together in The Golden Girls when Mama's Family began its syndicated episodes. In 1988, the actress was honored with the Women's International Center Living Legacy Award, recognizing her significant contributions to the entertainment industry and her advocacy for various social causes. This award added to her growing list of accolades and further solidified her status as a respected figure in the industry. In the popular show The Golden Girls, the actress who played Rose Nyland, along with B. Arthur, had previously appeared in failed remakes of the British TV sitcom Faulty Towers. The actress was in the 1978 pilot Snavely and Arthur and Amanda's, which only lasted one season in 1983. In the film Lake Placid, the actress portrayed Mistress Dolores Bickerman. Her character was told that PETA would be interested to learn about her alleged mistreatment of her cows. In reality, the actress was a major on-air spokeswoman for PETA. During the filming of The Golden Girls, the actress and Rue McClanahan, who played Blanche Devereaux, used to leave each other riddles and puzzles to solve on the bulletin board in the kitchen. The actress's career spanned over eight decades, and she became a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Her work in The Golden Girls and Lake Placid showcased her versatility and talent as an actress. 
After a successful career spanning over eight decades, the actress, best known as Rose Nyland in The Golden Girls, left an indelible mark in the world of television. She was the oldest of the four main actresses in The Golden Girls, and with the death of Rue McClanahan, she became the last surviving member of the cast. In addition to her work on The Golden Girls, the actress also had a notable role in The Mary Tyler Moore Show, where she was the oldest of the eight regulars. During the last four months of her life, she was the last surviving cast member of the show. The actress's career began in radio, where she performed in episodes of The Great Gildersleeve, Blondie, and This Is Your FBI. Her talent and hard work soon led her to Hollywood, where she became a household name. Despite her passing on December 31st through 21, the actress's legacy will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Her work in The Golden Girls and The Mary Tyler Moore Show remains a testament to her talent and enduring appeal. After receiving her union card to work in radio by saying the line parquet in a commercial, the actress found herself playing the role of Ellen Harper Jackson in Mama's Family. Her character was a conniving gold digger, a stark contrast to Rue McClanahan's prudish spinster. Interestingly, the two actresses would later co-star in The Golden Girls, but with characters of completely opposite personalities. In The Golden Girls, the actress took on the role of Rose Nyland, a sweet and naive character from St. Olaf, Minnesota. In one episode, while the girls are having cheesecake in the kitchen, Rose starts to tell a story, prompting Blanche to interrupt and say, must we take yet another trip to Petticoat Junction? This is a nod to the fact that the actress had actually appeared in one episode of Petticoat Junction back in 1969. The actress's ability to seamlessly transition between different roles and shows is a testament to her talent and versatility. At the age of 88 and a half, the actress broke a record by hosting Saturday Night Live, making her the oldest person to ever do so. This goes to show that age is just a number, and she still got it. Going back in time, we find the actress in 1939, performing songs from the Merry Widow operetta at the Packard Motor Car Company, building for an experimental television broadcast. It's fascinating to think that she was already gracing the screens, albeit experimental ones, so many years ago. The actress has never been one to shy away from expressing her opinions. She has been strongly critical of reality television, which has become increasingly popular in recent years. It takes courage to stand up for what you believe in, and she has certainly done that. In the world of entertainment, the actress has left an indelible mark, and it's clear that she will continue to do so for years to come. In The Mary Tyler Moore Show, the actress was initially cast for a single episode as Sue Ann Nivens, but was later promoted to a series regular. Her portrayal of the character, known as the Happy Homemaker, won her two Emmy Award. After graduating from Horace Mann Grammar School in Beverly Hills, California, the actress continued to pursue her passion for acting. She eventually landed a role in Mama's Family, which began as a skit on the Carol Burnett show featuring Vicki Lawrence, Carol Burnett, Harvey Corman, and the actress herself. The actress's character, Ellen Harper Jackson, was the sarcastic and witty sister of Vicki Lawrence's character, Thelma Harper. The skit's success led to a spin-off show, Mama's Family, which aired from 1983 to 1990. The actress's performance in the show was well received, and she was praised for her comedic timing and delivery. Continuing her journey from the role of the phone girl on Al Jarvis's television show, the actress Betty White's career took an interesting turn when she became a regular on the show. This laid the foundation for her successful career in the entertainment industry. In the series Mama's Family, the actress portrayed Ellen Harper Jackson. Initially, the opening credits only listed main cast members and episodes they appeared in, classifying Betty White and Carol Burnett as guest stars. However, when the show moved to syndication in 1986, the main cast was credited in every episode. Interestingly, in Mama's Family Best Medicine, Betty White was given special recognition as a special guest star in the opening credits. Later, in The Golden Girls, Betty White played the character Rose Nyland. In the episode Sophia's Choice, the story revolves around Sophia trying to secure better retirement home care for her friend Lillian. In the final scene, Rose suggests they make a pact to stick together as they age, to which Blanche adds that they should all move to a nursing home together. Rose then asks, but what happens when there's only one of us left? Sophia replies, don't worry, I can take care of myself. This scene eerily foreshadowed real life, as Betty White outlived her co-stars and became the only one left until her passing on December 31st to 21. Coincidentally, they are also sitting in the order in which they passed away. 
In the beginning, Betty White started her career as the phone girl on Al Jarvis's afternoon television show in Los Angeles, California, setting the stage for her successful career in the entertainment industry. Interestingly, in The Golden Girls, the actress brought to life the character of Rose Nyland, a role that became a fan favorite. Despite Estelle Getty playing the oldest character, she was actually the second youngest of the main cast. The actress outlived her co-stars, leaving a lasting impression as the final member of the ensemble. In The Mary Tyler Moore Show, she portrayed Sue Ann Nivens, standing out as the senior among her peers, with a memorable performance that still resonates with audiences. Her appearances on game shows alongside Vicki Lawrence showcased her quick wit and close friendships within the industry. These moments highlighted her ability to connect with both her peers and the public through her talent and genuine personality. After graduating from Beverly Hills High School in 1939, the actress Betty White, also known as Betty Marion White, went on to have a successful career in television. She is perhaps best known for her role as Sue Ann Nivens in The Mary Tyler Moore Show and as Rose Nyland in The Golden Girls. In The Mary Tyler Moore Show, the actress played the character of Sue Ann Nivens, a man-hungry, seemingly sweet homemaker who hosted a cooking show on the fictional WGM TV. The last four surviving regular cast members of this series, including the actress, all passed away in 2021. As for The Golden Girls, the actress was the last surviving cast member, having outlived her co-stars by over a decade. She played the character of Rose Nyland, a sweet and naive character from St. Olaf, Minnesota. The show aired from 1985 to 1992, and the actress was a beloved figure in the show's ensemble cast. Sadly, the actress passed away on December 31, 2021, just a few weeks shy of her 100th birthday. Her passing marked the end of an era, as she was one of the last remaining links to the golden age of television. Her contributions to the world of television will not be forgotten, and she will be deeply missed by fans and industry professionals alike. In addition to the actress's passing, several other notable figures associated with the Mary Tyler Moore show also passed away in 2021. Co-creator, co-executive producer Alan Burns died in January, and Jay Sandrick, the director of 119 episodes of the series, passed away in September. These losses are a reminder of the enduring impact that the Mary Tyler Moore show and its talented cast and crew had on the television industry. After starting her career in 1949 with a 15-minute comedy show called Tom, Dick and Harry, the actress took on the role of a maid. The show didn't last long, but it marked the beginning of her journey in the industry. One of the actress's most memorable roles was playing Rose Nyland, a character she portrayed in four different series The Golden Girls, Empty Nest, Nurses, and The Golden Palace. Her portrayal of Rose Nyland is what many people remember her for, and it's a testament to her ability to fully embody a character. Interestingly, the actress worked with Harold Gould and Nancy Walker on both The Mary Tyler Moore Show and The Golden Girls. It's a small detail, but it shows the interconnectedness of the entertainment industry and the relationships that are formed over the years. Despite starting her career in the 1940s, the actress continued to work in the industry for several more decades. Her longevity in the industry is a testament to her talent and her ability to adapt to changing times. Even as she got older, she remained a beloved figure in the entertainment world. In the film Lake Placid, the actress portrayed Mistress Dolores Bickerman, a character who admits to killing her husband with a skillet. Interestingly, she played a similar role on Boston Legal, where her character also kills a man using the same method. In 2021, the entertainment industry lost five significant figures from the Mary Tyler Moore show, including the actress, who passed away at the age of 99. On The Golden Girls, the actress brought the character of Rose Nyland to life. During filming, she and Rue McClanahan, who played Blanche, frequently played alphabet games between takes, showcasing their competitive spirit and love for word games. It's worth noting that even before her time on The Golden Girls, the actress had always been a formidable competitor on Password, demonstrating her quick wit and intelligence. The actress was close friends with renowned animal trainer Ralph Helfer, who provided many of his exotic animals for her television show The Pet Set in 1971. This friendship and love for animals were nurtured during her time studying acting at the Bliss Hayden Theater, run by husband-wife film actor team Harry Hayden and Layla Bliss. Born at 638 p.m. CST, the actress's life has been filled with dedication to her craft and a deep connection to the animal kingdom. 
Her career in the film and television industry has spanned over eight decades, and she has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Throughout her life, the actress has been committed to using her platform to raise awareness for animal rights and conservation efforts. Her friendship with Helfer and the creation of the pet set allowed her to combine her love for animals and her passion for acting, creating a unique and memorable show that resonated with audiences. The actress's time at the Bliss Hayden Theater was formative in her development as an actress, and she often credited her training there with helping her to hone her craft. The theater, run by the experienced and accomplished Harry Hayden and Layla Bliss, provided the actress with a solid foundation in the world of acting. From her early days studying at the Bliss Hayden Theater to her long-lasting friendship with Ralph Helfer, the actress's life has been filled with meaningful connections and a deep commitment to her passions. Her impact on the world of entertainment and animal rights will continue to be felt for generations to come. As we reflect on the actress's career, it's amazing to see how she's brightened our screens for over eight decades. From her early days on radio to her memorable roles in The Golden Girls and The Mary Tyler Moore Show, her comedic timing and warmth have always shown through. Her work in film has also left an indelible mark. In the proposal, she stole every scene she was in, proving that age is just a number when it comes to delivering a great performance. The actress's legacy extends beyond her on-screen roles. She was a passionate advocate for animals and used her platform to raise awareness for their welfare. Her kindness and dedication to making the world a better place will always be remembered. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your favorite memories of the actress's work? Share them with us in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping energy.